Welcome to Kimlid Channel. Today we will discuss the possibility of pre-Egyptian civilizations and how these civilizations rise and fall, their stories often lost to the ages. The sands of time hold many secrets. But what if some stories are buried deeper than we think, hidden beneath the weight of centuries, hinting at a past far more sophisticated than we ever imagined? History as we know it tells a compelling tale, yet there are gaps, inconsistencies that make us question. Could there be more? What if the ancient Egyptians, long considered pioneers of their time, were not the first masters of this land? What if their knowledge, their impressive technological prowess, was inherited, a legacy passed down from a civilization even older, even more advanced? This is the question that drives us to explore the possibility of a pre-Egyptian civilization one that may have mastered technologies far ahead of their time, only to disappear, leaving behind tantalizing clues. Our journey begins with whispers of the past, faint echoes in ancient texts, enigmatic artifacts unearthed from the depths of the earth. Intricate carvings depict technologies that seem advanced for their time. Massive stone structures erected with astonishing precision hint at a sophisticated knowledge of engineering and astronomy. These remnants, scattered across the globe, whisper of civilizations that possessed remarkable knowledge and abilities. The Sahara Desert, a seemingly endless expanse of sand and silence, holds secrets buried beneath its dunes. While we often associate this region with ancient Egypt, evidence suggests a much older story a civilization predating the pharaohs by millennia. This period, known as the pre-dynastic era, remains shrouded in mystery. Yet, scattered across the landscape, we find intriguing clues, stone circles aligned with celestial bodies hinting at sophisticated astronomical knowledge and remnants of settlements far more advanced than previously believed. These early inhabitants, who predate the rise of hieroglyphic writing, left behind more than just rudimentary tools. They crafted intricate jewelry, mastered the art of pottery, and even developed early forms of irrigation, demonstrating a deep understanding of their environment and the ingenuity to manipulate it. Their advancements went beyond mere survival. These were the hallmarks of a civilization pushing the boundaries of their time developing technologies that would lay the groundwork for the marvels of ancient Egypt to come. Across the globe, from Stonehenge to the pyramids of Egypt, we find evidence of ancient precision. The scale and complexity of these structures defy easy explanation. How did ancient builders manage to quarry, transport, and erect such massive stones? Their deep understanding of geometry, mathematics, and astronomy astounds modern engineers. Take the ruins of Pumapunku in Bolivia. Massive stone blocks, cut and fitted with remarkable precision. These structures suggest a technological advancement that challenges our understanding of the past. Unconventional materials, unprecedented results. The mastery of materials is a hallmark of any advanced civilization. Ancient cultures had a sophisticated understanding of material science. Take, for instance, the use of copper and bronze in ancient Egypt. These metals required advanced techniques for smelting and alloying. Even more intriguing is the ancient Egyptians' mastery of glassmaking. Creating glass requires incredibly high temperatures and precise chemical understanding. The sophistication of these techniques hints at a legacy of knowledge passed down through generations. The Osirian, a subterranean marvel. Deep beneath the sands of Abydos, Egypt, lies a structure so enigmatic, so technologically advanced for its time, that it has baffled archaeologists for centuries. Built with colossal blocks of red granite, some weighing over 100 tons, the Osirian's construction is a testament to incredible engineering prowess. 
mainstream archaeology attributes the Osirian to Seti Wurz, a pharaoh of the 19th dynasty. Yet, the sheer scale and complexity of the structure have led some scholars to question this attribution, suggesting it may predate Seti Wurz. Precision engineering in the ancient world. The Osirian is a prime example of extraordinary engineering. From the pyramids of Giza to South America's megalithic structures, ancient precision continues to astound modern engineers. The Great Pyramid of Giza is precisely aligned with the cardinal directions. This accuracy is remarkable, even by modern standards. At Pumapunku, massive stone blocks are cut and fitted with incredible precision. How did ancient builders achieve such precision without modern technology? Echoes of advanced technology. Beyond the massive stone structures, there are subtle hints of advanced technology in the ancient world. Enigmatic artifacts, strange carvings, and unexplained phenomena defy conventional explanations. The so-called Dendera light, found in the Hathor temple, is often compared to a modern light bulb. Some scholars dismiss it as symbolic, while others speculate it could represent ancient electrical technology. Artifacts like the Antikythera mechanism and the Baghdad battery suggests the possibility of advanced ancient technology. The mystery of the missing tools. One of the most perplexing aspects of ancient engineering is the lack of evidence for the tools used to create these structures. The massive blocks used to construct the pyramids of Giza were quarried, transported and lifted with precision. At many sites, we find perfectly circular holes drilled into hard granite with no visible tool marks. The absence of these tools challenges our understanding of ancient technology, uncovering the anomalies. Our understanding of history is constantly evolving as new discoveries come to light, challenging established beliefs. We must venture beyond conventional archaeology and delve into the realm of the unexplained. These anomalies, often dismissed or overlooked, hold the potential to unlock hidden chapters of our past. Among the most intriguing anomalies are out-of-place artifacts, or OO parts. These objects found in archaeological contexts challenge our understanding of history. They suggest technological sophistication that seems out of place for their time. The London hammer, an iron hammer, was found encased in rock, claimed to be millions of years old. The Koso artifact, resembling a spark plug, is encased in a geode estimated to be around 500,000 years old. The existence of Uparts raises fundamental questions about the accuracy of our current historical timelines. If these objects are as old as they appear, it suggests advanced civilizations may have existed far earlier than we thought. Conventional archaeology relies on dating techniques like radiocarbon dating and stratigraphic analysis. A single authenticated Upart can challenge established timelines and potentially rewrite our understanding of the past. The study of the past is an ongoing process of discovery, interpretation, and reinterpretation. As new evidence comes to light, we refine our understanding of history. The search for a pre-Egyptian civilization reflects our insatiable curiosity about our origins and our desire to uncover the hidden chapters of our collective story. By challenging conventional wisdom and exploring anomalous discoveries, we push the boundaries of our knowledge. Each artifact on Earth brings us closer to understanding human history. New discoveries await us, hidden beneath the sands of time. The word megastructure evokes images of colossal feats of engineering, structures so grand in scale and ambition that they seem to defy the very limits of human ingenuity. Yet, scattered across the globe, we find remnants of such structures, silent testaments to civilizations that mastered the art of manipulating their environment on a monumental scale. These aren't merely large buildings. They are expressions of a collective will, a testament to the organizational skills and technological prowess of their creators. From the pyramids of Egypt to the megalithic temples of Malta, these structures challenge our preconceived notions about the capabilities of ancient cultures. Were these megastructures simply the result of brute force and endless manpower? Or do they point to something more? A deeper understanding of geometry, mathematics, and astronomy, combined with technologies that have been lost to time. The evidence suggests a compelling case for the latter, whispering tales of a civilization that possessed knowledge and abilities far ahead of their time.
The construction of megalithic structures, particularly those involving massive stone blocks, presented a unique set of challenges for ancient builders. Quarrying, transporting, and lifting these immense stones, some weighing hundreds of tons, would have required a deep understanding of leverage, mechanics, and material science. While some theories propose the use of ramps, rollers, and levers made of wood, the sheer scale and precision of these structures suggest a level of sophistication that goes beyond rudimentary tools. The absence of tool marks on many of these stones further deepens the mystery, raising the possibility of techniques that we are only beginning to rediscover. Could these ancient builders have possessed knowledge of advanced techniques, such as sound levitation, or perhaps harness the power of water or even mercury to manipulate these massive stones? The answers, though elusive, lie hidden within the stones themselves, waiting to be deciphered by those who dare to question the limits of our understanding. The purpose of many ancient structures goes beyond mere functionality. They are often aligned with celestial events, suggesting a deep understanding of astronomy and a desire to connect with the cosmos. Stonehenge, for example, with its massive stones arranged in a circular pattern aligns with the solstices and equinoxes, marking key points in the solar year. Similarly, the pyramids of Egypt, often viewed solely as elaborate tombs, exhibit precise alignments with the cardinal directions and certain stars, suggesting a possible astronomical function. These structures, far from being random creations, were meticulously planned and executed with a level of precision that continues to baffle modern engineers. The Nazca Lines of Peru present another compelling example of purpose and precision. These massive geoglyphs etched into the desert floor depict animals, plants, and geometric figures visible only from the air. Their purpose remains a mystery, but their existence points to a civilization with a sophisticated understanding of geometry and a desire to leave a lasting mark on the landscape. Whispers in Stone, Messages for the Future. The structures left behind by ancient civilizations are more than just impressive feats of engineering. They are messages etched in stone, whispers from the past. They tell tales of a time when humanity looked to the stars for guidance and passed down knowledge through generations. As we study these structures, we uncover the stories they hold within their ancient stones. These stories challenge us to expand our understanding of the past and appreciate human history. The Vanishing Act. The very existence of a pre-Egyptian civilization, possessing such advanced knowledge and capable of such incredible feats of engineering, begs a haunting question. What happened to them? Why did a civilization capable of erecting impressive structures and harnessing technologies seemingly ahead of their time vanish from the historical record, leaving behind only tantalizing clues? The sudden disappearance of such an advanced civilization is a perplexing mystery. Did they succumb to some cataclysmic event? A natural disaster that wiped them off the face of the earth? Or was their decline a slow, gradual process? Their knowledge and technologies fading over generations. The answers, like pieces of a shattered mirror, are scattered across time and space. To solve this enigma, we must examine the evidence, explore the possibilities, and piece together the fragments of their story to understand why such a civilization would fade into obscurity. Cataclysm or decline, theories of disappearance. One theory suggests a cataclysmic event like a flood, earthquake, or comet impact caused their disappearance. Such events could have reshaped the landscape and destroyed their cities. Another theory is a gradual decline due to climate change, overpopulation, or resource depletion. Environmental changes may have led to their civilization's collapse. A combination of factors could have contributed to their demise. Natural disasters might have weakened them, leading to internal strife and resource scarcity. Exploring these theories helps us understand the fragility of ancient civilizations. A legacy of innovation, a future of discovery. The search for ancient civilizations before Egypt is a testament to human curiosity and our desire to understand our place in history. Whether or not we can prove their existence, the pursuit itself holds immense value. 
It compels us to question our assumptions and explore alternative perspectives. Even if these civilizations remain shrouded in time, their legacy lives on in the questions they inspire. The possibility of their existence fuels our imagination and pushes the boundaries of knowledge. A journey through time, unlocking the secrets of our past, inspiring the future. Our journey into the world of pre-Egyptian technology has taken us across continents and through millennia, exploring the remnants of civilizations that dared to push the boundaries of human ingenuity. We've delved into the depths of the Osirayon, marveled at the precision of Puma Punku, and pondered the enigmatic purpose of the Nazca lines. We've encountered tantalizing clues, O parts, advanced materials, and precise alignments that challenge our conventional understanding of the past and hint at a legacy of knowledge far exceeding what we once thought possible. While definitive answers may remain elusive, studies of pre-Egyptian civilizations reveal the complexity and advancement of societies that thrived in the Nile Valley and surrounding regions before the iconic Egyptian civilization emerged. These cultures engaged in agriculture, developed tools, and established burial rites, laying the foundation for future dynasties. One, overview of pre-Egyptian societies. The areas adjacent to the fertile Nile valleys were always a hotbed of human development. Some of the earliest steps of evolution and development in the Nile Valley began as early as 120,000 years BC, marked by primitive cultures such as the Acheulean culture, characterized by stone tools. The Cormusan culture appeared around 45,000 years BC and was known for its nomadic lifestyle, following wild herds while gradually moving closer to the Nile's fertile regions. Two, the Kadan culture. The pre-dynastic Kadan culture, which flourished between 15,000 and 10,000 BC, made significant advancements that were crucial for developing a proto-Egyptian identity. They were pioneers in agriculture, cultivating local flora, hunting, and fishing, along with developing pottery and unique funerary practices. This culture helped establish the foundational practices that would become integral to later Egyptian civilization. Three, the Fayum culture. The Fayum culture emerged around 6,000 BC, marking a significant transition towards Neolithic settlement patterns. This culture was likely influenced by migrants from the Fertile Crescent who introduced agriculture to Egypt. The inhabitants depended on hunting and fishing, living primarily in small, nomadic groups. They began creating unique tools and community structures led by chieftains, hinting at emerging social hierarchies. Four, the Badarian culture. The Badarian culture followed the Fayum, flourishing from 4500 to 4000 BC. This culture was considerably more advanced, known for its agricultural practices and distinctive funerary rites, including elaborate grave goods. Badarian sites yielded remains of domesticated animals and evidence of complex societal structures, indicating significant progress. Five, the Nakata culture. The Nakata culture, also crucial to the development of ancient Egypt, began around 4000 BC and is often subdivided into three phases, Nakata II, and III. Nakata II, in particular, saw advancements in pottery and trade, with evidence of centralized power emerging. This culture marked the gradual formation of the territorial and political structures that would characterize ancient Egypt. Six, influence of Mesopotamia research suggests that significant influences from Mesopotamia affected the development of pre-Egyptian cultures, particularly in technological advancements and social organization. The rise of these early civilizations emphasizes the interconnectivity of societies during this period, contributing to the complexities of the emerging Egyptian state. Seven, 
7. Conclusion on Civilizational Foundations The remnants of these pre-Egyptian civilizations illustrate a process of gradual transformation from nomadic groups to complex societies around the Nile. A civilization does not emerge overnight. It is built on the foundations of advanced societal structures and takes time to evolve. This evolution highlights the significance of environmental factors, such as the Nile River, in shaping social structures, economic practices, and cultural developments that led to the rise of ancient Egypt. The foundations laid by these early cultures are integral to understanding the trajectory of one of history's most influential civilizations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this exploration, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into our ancient past and its impact on our future.